Yes, so people of God, once again, this is Reverend Dr. Edward Debo Onuma from the Living Word Assemblies International Church. Today, I want to come your way and I want you to know that life is such that you have to be firm in the law. Most of the times, a lot of things happen to people and because of withering in faith, they are not able to stand for God. So hopes are lost and fears set in. And they think that there is no way out. But today I want you to know that you and I, if we will stand firm for the Lord, in spite of anything that might have come our way, I know that God would always transcend our cause and lead us into victory. I want us to read something from the book of Philippians 1 and 27. And it says, Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or I'm absent, I may hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit with one mind striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. The scripture is just saying that you and I, we should live a life that it will be worthy of the gospel of Christ. And so today I'm asking you the kind of lifestyle that you are pursuing. Are we in the position to say that is worthy of the gospel of Christ? You may be a believer, but when you are not part of the gathering of the saints, what do you do? When you are out there on the market, what do you do? When nobody is watching over you, what do you do? But the scripture is saying that you and I, every aspect of our lives, should be such that it is worthy of the gospel of Christ. And in so doing, Paul is saying that whether I come or I am not around, yet will you be doing the right things? In most cases, we want people to watch over us, to do the right thing. Some of us will go to our various working places and until we see the boss, we do things anyhow. But I want you to know that Christ is watching over you. And so, whether people are around or you are in a secret place, you still want to do that which is good and worthy of the gospel of Christ. And in so doing, then you can stand firm for the Lord. Standing firm, let's take a tree. The tree has roots. As a matter of fact, the root occupies the top soil. In other words, it occupies the place that is able to get nutrient for the tree. Now, for the tree to be stable, it needs, especially the top root, to get very deep. And so, people of God, if you want to go about, gather the blessings of God, and He has given you the possibility but if you are not rooted in the Lord, you are shaky. And whatever you may be doing, oh, I want you to know that a time may come when everything will be uprooted. But when you will be rooted in the Lord, I know for sure that victory shall be your point. Psalm 11, 3 says that if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? And so it is very important that we find our root deep in the Lord. Colossians 2, the verse 6 and 7, it said, when you have received Christ, then walk in him so that you are rooted in him, for then shall you be established and you would abound in thanksgiving. And so in all your endeavors, people that are listening to me, I want you to take note that your root in Christ is very important. Your root in the word of God is very important. Get deep 
into God. Get deep into the word of God. Get deep in your prayers. And I know and I pray that all shall be well with you. Joshua 1, 8, he says, this book of the law will never depart from my mouth. And I will observe to do according to everything that is written in it. For then will I have my ways prosperous and will I have success. May that be your portion. May you be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that you will be nourished and refreshed, that victory and glory and honor shall be upon your life. It is well with you. It is well with your spirit. And it is well with your soul now and forevermore. Amen. And please, I want you to go and subscribe to my channel. And anytime you do this, don't forget to click on the post notification bell. I love you all. God bless you.